Hey there, I have some great news. At this point in your attraction marketing journey, the most important part of the attract, influence, and enroll process is already done. Enrollments are how you know whether or not you're winning at the game of attraction marketing, but the real work was done in the first two stages. As Peter Drucker once wrote, the aim of marketing is to make selling superfluous. The aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well that the product or service fits him and sells itself. By the way, I had to look up the word superfluous. When I first read that quote, it actually means unnecessary. Everything we've done up until this point has indeed been marketing, attraction marketing to be exact. And the product when doing attraction marketing, if you haven't guessed already, has never been your network marketing company or your company product. This whole time, the product has been you. You are your business. Your relationship with your list is your business, not your network marketing company, not your downline, not their product. Those things are just the vehicle that allows you to make money and monetize the value of your relationship with your friends, followers, and list subscribers. People don't join network marketing companies. They join their sponsor and their team. If you've served your audience well, as you've been instructed, your prospects will buy or join whatever you recommend. And by the time you have them on the call with you, selling, closing, objection handling, et cetera, become superfluous. There, I use the word. <laughs> when you invite somebody to take a look at something, a product or an opportunity, they can say yes to you on the exact same day they say no to somebody else promoting the exact same product or network marketing company. To a stranger, cold prospecting them, they are running in the other direction. But with you, they are leaning in, looking forward to the opportunity to speak with you about your recommendations to address their problems. You see the difference? And while the heavy lifting has been done, there's still some things I recommend you do to reinforce their commitment to making a change in their lives. If you've done an effective job, people should already be 70 to 90% bought in. Your job is to close the 30% gap and motivate them to make that investment in a very serious way. Enrolling, just enrolling them is not enough. They got to be committed. And there's three ways to do this. First, as you might have guessed, there's active inviting and enrolling, which is a one on one activity. The invite is simple. It's an invitation to explore how you might be able to help your prospect on a deeper level to solve their problems. Your prospect consuming your content will always only get pieces of the bigger puzzle and purchasing the offer that you have will almost always make their life better than anything they can do on their own or that you can give them advice on without making that investment. The opportunity to speak with you at this point will be seen as the opportunity to get further clarity on solutions and get personalized support. Once you have them on a call or on a video chat like a Zoom, your job is to lead something we call an enrollment conversation. In our coaching programs, I have in-depth training on how to do or conduct these enrollment conversation, but here are the cliff notes. First, you must come into the call from a place of curiosity and service. Number two is you must spend way more time asking questions than talking. Number three is you want to ask questions intended to understand their problem and desired outcomes on a deeper level. The more clear someone's answers are, the more motivated they will be to do something about that and make a change in their situation. Because you're talking to people in your target market, most of their answers shouldn't come as a surprise to you. And most of the time, you're going to be prepared with what recommendations you might give them, perhaps with a few customizations for the individual. The solution will fit the prospect so well, it will make selling superfluous. There's that word again. What also makes selling superfluous is the relationship you've cultivated with your prospect. And this isn't just about closing an easy deal. What you're doing during an enrollment conversation and why you're asking so many questions is actually to qualify. Clear answers from your prospect likely means they are clear on their issues and motivated to do something about it, i.e. enroll and solve the problem. If the prospect's answers seem apathetic or they struggle to define their problems or their goals, or if getting answers from them is like pulling teeth, they might not be a fit and might be a huge pain to deal with if they do end up enrolling either as a customer or a team member. Don't be afraid to challenge your prospect's motivation if you notice this. Remember, you are the leader. Hold off on talking about your products or solutions closer to the end until you have verified that they are in fact a fit and that you can help them. 
after you've gotten all the answers you need and make your recommendations, the prospect might have some questions and it's okay to answer them at that point, but they shouldn't have too many. If you've done all three steps of the attract, influence and enroll process effectively, they are qualified. And the only objection at this point might be a genuine money objection where they might struggle to be able to afford the product or enrollment fee. You'll notice these folks will be open to getting help and figuring out what might be possible given their finances, as opposed to the I can't afford it smoke and mirrors objection that you very commonly get with old school prospecting and then they ghost you. That's not what this is. They genuinely want help figuring out how they can make this work and you're there to help them and coach them. In the beginning, enrollment conversations are an excellent opportunity for you to practice communication skills and understand your prospects at a deeper level. However, as you can imagine, it can be time intensive and eventually you'll want or even need to do something that is more leveraged. And that's what leads me to leverage inviting and enrollment. Leveraged inviting is simply announcing an invitation to attend an event to your audience. The type of event or your influence with them will determine what percentage of your audience responds to that invitation. The event will be a leverage enrollment conversation, AKA a live group sales presentation. Your experience doing enrollment conversations or any previous sales experience really comes in handy here. There are varying levels of group sales sophistication, i.e. sales psychology and persuasion skills that are required to be effective with this type of strategy. If a presenter has a high level of influence over the audience, the less sophisticated the sales presentation needs to be. They pretty much will point people to go buy and they go buy it. On the other end of the spectrum, if an individual presenting has little to no relationship with an audience, well then the more sophisticated the presentation absolutely needs to be. A highly influential individual can probably influence many people to buy something in a group format like a Facebook Live without slides by simply giving a short explanation about the benefits of a certain product, recommending that they buy it and tell them where to go buy it. When you get to the point when you have a team and they are referring their prospects to some kind of online event that you're hosting to learn more about what you offer, then you might want to start exploring up leveling your group sales presentation skills since you won't have a strong relationship with many of these prospects. These types of direct response sales presentations can offer you and your team a lot of leverage and still have a target market in mind and be conducted in a way that's authentic to your personality and infused with your story. When you can speak and present to a group and yet have an individual in the audience feel like you're speaking directly to them, then you've nailed this skill set. Presenting to colder audiences is a six and seven figure skill set that takes practice and mentorship from pros to learn. I learned how to present from my mentor and business partner, Tim Irway. He's still one of the best in the world at doing it. He's mentored countless leaders in this profession on how to do sales presentations effectively. Now, I got to warn you, most network marketing video presentations done by the company or even by traditional leaders for the product or opportunity are terrible. So I would not rely on those videos as standalone tools unless the creator has a direct response sales background. Now, doing live presentations over and over again for your team will eventually cramp your style as you work to increase your time freedom. So here's what you can do as well. Automated inviting and enrolling. When it comes to direct response sales skills, sales presentations can be recorded from your live events or pre-recorded from the start and used later in a more automated way by you or your team for ongoing enrollment opportunities. If you have a funnel created and prospects are flowing in every single day, there are basically three ways to present an offer to them after they've opted into that funnel in an automated way that can generate enrollments or even auto book calls on your calendar who are ready to enroll 24 seven. The first way is using simulated live sales presentations. The second way is using sales videos, AKA video sales letters. The third way is using sales letters or written sales letters. The first one simulated live sales presentations is something we just talked about when we're talking about live presentations, but it's pre-recorded. However, to the attendee, it might seem like a live event. The second way is a video sales presentation, which is obviously pre-recorded, but crafted in a way to hook and keep the target prospects interest through the end until the offer or opportunity is presented. The third one is literally a written sales page that shares everything a video sales letter or a webinar presentation would share 
in a long written web page, giving the prospect the ability to either read the entire thing or skim through it. There are strengths and weaknesses to each approach, but all require training to execute effectively. All three may be used to sell and qualify prospects into booking an enrollment conversation with you as well. But like before, the colder the audience or the higher the price point, the more sophisticated the salesmanship, i.e. the sales skills needs to be. Now, I wanna talk about a million dollar skill. Many people think that in order to automate lead generation or create leverage sales online, that the most important skill required would be tech skills or the ability to build a website or integrate an autoresponder or how, learn how to run ads on Google or Facebook. But that's not the case. You can easily hire for that type of work to be done for you for very little overseas. The most important skill any online entrepreneur can learn is the skill of copywriting. Copywriting is salesmanship in print or in words. In fact, it's the one skill that is used in every part of the attraction marketing process. If you've created a high level of influence with your audience through daily social engagement, your copywriting skills might not need to be at a high level when making an offer to them. The more automated and leveraged you want the process to be, the more you should consider getting trained in copywriting by a professional, and it's not something you will organically learn to do on your own. Copywriting is used in everything, your social media posts, scripting ideas for your social videos, Facebook Live topics, outline, emails, written content, sales presentations, sales video scripts, and especially sales letters. The more you understand how to attract influence and enroll through words, written or spoken, the more effective all communication you create will be and the more successful you'll become. Copywriting is about understanding how humans make buying decisions or make big commitments like joining a team by giving their mind the information it needs to make those decisions and commitments confidently with you instead of with somebody else. For those reasons, it's referred by entrepreneurs as the million dollar skill set. I owe the 40 plus million dollars my businesses have generated online over the past 17 years to this skill. And this was taught to me by Mike and Tim. It has allowed me to efficiently and effectively communicate everything a prospect needs to know to invest their hard earned dollars with me and to give me the opportunity to serve them. It's what's allowed our students to create massive leverage in their network marketing or other businesses to the tune of what is now likely over a billion dollars in sales collectively among all of them. If you remember from day one, this is also the skill combined with automation strategies that was responsible for Tim enrolling 1,732 team members in 30 days long before social media was even a thing. I cover this strategy in much more detail inside the Attraction Marketing Formula course. And if you'd like to learn this and all other skills required to attract influence and enroll with increasing leverage and ease, then I highly recommend you do two things. Grab your copy of the Attraction Marketing Formula by clicking the button below, and immediately after your purchase, book a free one-on-one -on -one coaching call with one of the leaders I've personally trained. They have nothing to sell you, just value. And literally over 100,000 networkers have purchased this exact course and have chosen to leave the world of old school prospecting forever. Now, for most network marketing training, enrolling is where the story ends, but not here. We've covered attract influence and enroll, but we still have duplication to address. However, this isn't the traditional idea of duplication. That idea is corrupt and doesn't work. I'll be talking about the three things you'll wanna have in place to drive compounding growth and duplication in your team and how to even duplicate yourself. If you got value from this training, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to get access to my free five-day digital recruiting bootcamp, where I reveal how to attract three to seven new customers and team members each week without prospecting a single person, sign up in the link in the description. You'll get access to content that's not available anywhere else. Plus, you'll receive an invitation to our private community where we deliver free weekly live training on how to leverage attraction marketing for your business. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.